I cannot wait. That is so exciting. And the thing is, it is stranger than fiction. If someone were to say that the son of the president has dirty deals with the former mayor of Moscow, with Ukrainian natural gas companies, with Chinese oligarchs in the Communist Party, someone would say, no, nah. no one would believe it. Come on, you have to be more nuanced. And then if you said a newspaper, one of the oldest in America, the New York Post, tried to talk about this in the election, and they were censored, people would say, no, that's, that's too on the nose. That's not going to happen. And there was a hard drive with not only photos and emails, but videos of hunters smoking crack with prostitutes. No, that's impossible. This is a story stranger than fiction, and yet it is barely told. It is muffled when people try to tell it. But luckily, Hollywood's dissident filmmaker, Phelan McAleer, is on the case, and you know that he will tell the story that others won't. What a pleasure to have producer Phelan with us today. Phelan, we've talked about My Son Hunter before, when you were just starting it. Looks like you've had some great success so far crowdfunding it, but you're not quite done. Tell us how you've been doing. Yeah, well, we've hit a million, we're at a million and fifty thousand dollars now, I think. Uh, we still have to get another 750,000, but people have been amazing. I think we've got 10,000 small donations. Many of them, we always notice a boom and a, after we come on, on your show, Ezra, because funny enough, Canadians care about the truth. I think they've seen the truth being suppressed so much in their own country uh, that they recognize us when they see it. So no, we've had great success. Uh, this movie is going to happen. We're going to be filming in Serbia. Uh, which, is, which will double as the Ukraine. We're going to start filming in mid-October. So it's going to be great. It's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we've got lots of great news happening as well. Well, I just heard that you signed on a big-name director. And that's the thing. Anyone can make sort of a homemade movie. But to tap into the kind of actual Hollywood A-listers, I'm talking about celebrities that everyone knows by sight. So Robert Davi who's got to be in more than 100 movies, like and very famous movies. I mean, Die Hard, obviously, a Christmas favorite. Robert Davi signed on as a director. That's a guy, that is a serious Hollywood player. I'm impressed that he's got the courage to be an outsider in a town that's like 95% Democrat. Yeah, well, there are courageous people out there. Yeah, Robert, he's been in everything from The Goonies to The Expendables to Die Hard. He's directed his own movies also. I mean, to be honest, I, I told him this yesterday. I said, I almost didn't send him, uh, make him an offer because I thought he wouldn't be interested. I thought that's how, you know, how Hollywood he was, you know, that, but that, 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 that this would be something that, uh, that he wouldn't be interested in. Boy, he grabbed it. It's one of the quickest yeses in Hollywood. He's really excited by the project. He, he wants to tell the truth. He, want, he thinks this story, he says this story is bigger than Watergate. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the president de dealing with China. You have the president getting money from deals with the Ukraine. You have the president getting 10% from deals with the mayor of Moscow's wife. And the media don't want to touch this. So he, he wants to tell it. But, you know, obviously, you know, uh, he's from Hollywood and I'm from Ireland. So we know all about addictions. So we're not going to be making fun of Hunter's addictions. Okay, a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not about his addictions. It's why this person got these deals at that time. Yeah. And it was because of the Biden name and it was because of the influence that Joe Biden could bring to the table. And boy, did he bring influence to the table. Yeah, well, that's the thing. And I, and I really appreciate that point. I mean, we can make a lot of fun of him for being a drug addict and smoking crack, especially given that his dad, Joe Biden, took such a hard line against drug dealers. But listen, it, it's, a, it's a problem. You could call it a health issue, whatever you want to call it. But that's not the reason people are mad at Hunter Biden. They're mad. Even to this day, he, he does these childish artworks and he sells them for half a million bucks to secret buyers. That's another way of saying money laundering. If a Chinese buyer gave a half a million dollar to Hunter as a gift, people would say you're bribing him. But to buy some art for half a million dollars, that's legalized. That's, that's money laundering. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, and Hunter was on a podcast at the weekend saying, and, and it was an arts podcast, and the art elitists were saying, "Oh no, that's ridiculous. Nobody ever, uh, nobody ever uses art for money laundering. That's not just the way it works." And I'm, I'm going. Have you seen the New York Times a few weeks ago wrote a, a long piece about how drug dealers, police are, ra police are raiding houses 
finding drugs, cash, and Picassos on the wall uh, because it's a really great way of spending money and getting a very valuable small thing that's easy to store. Yeah. Uh, it's n and, and it doesn't have to be registered. Unlike a luxury car, there's no registration book. There's no papers. Unlike a house, there's no uh, re real estate uh, yeah. transactions. So it's the favorite way of, of laundering money. So that's why we're making My Son Hunter the movie is, is to expose this madness. I mean, and by the way, the White House is saying, oh, Hunter's decided not to know who buys his paintings. Well, okay. He won't know who buys his paintings. So that doesn't stop the own new owner going on Facebook and saying, "Look, I just bought this oh, yeah. Hunter five hundred thousand." But yeah. you know, so it's it's stupid. Yeah, the website is mysonhunter.com. Last time we spoke, Phelan, I asked you who you were considering for the lead role, and you mentioned one guy who I admire, Lawrence Fox, comes mm -hmm. from an acting family. He's in the UK. Now, I remember he was running for mayor. He didn't win. Are you at liberty to say if you filled the position of Hunter? That would that would be a hell of a role. We are very close to filling that role. We have not signed a dotted line. And uh, until you sign the dotted line, you know, as, uh, in Hollywood, they say, you know, until the money's in the bank, yeah. don't announce it because there's a lot of slips. So that's that's where we are at the moment. We're, we're very close to one particular person that I can't say at the moment. And they've asked us not to say until the, we've signed the dotted line. But... We have some very, very, very interesting casting announcements coming up. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of fun making this movie. Because telling the truth is fun. Telling the truth is liberating. Yeah. Um, and people have been real. And there's a real appetite for it. That's why people have been going to our website and giving money. 10,000 people giving small donations. And uh, many of them, your listeners and your viewers. I think I gave 100 bucks last time you were on. I'm going to do that again today because I want this told. And, you know, I, I want to tell you exactly why I'm doing it. I mean, I'm a fan of yours, Phelan, have been for a long time. But when I saw how Twitter, the social media giant, censored the New York Post for trying to even report the news, I was so angry. So I'm going to donate $100 to your film. And it's in the name of fighting against the censors. And I looked forward to how you tell this story. Now, let me ask you this. You got a, a, a fair sized budget. You got some big names as a director. And I can hardly wait to hear who plays that starring role. How will pe people be able to see the final product? Do you expect to get it picked up by, uh, would they even consider it at a Netflix or something like that? Or Amazon Prime? How can someone watch this thing when it's done? Well, they should. They should pick it up. I mean, it, it's. I mean, they spent forty million on a mini series called the Comey Rule, which was actually about a hoax. It was about the Russia hoax. It was it based on a document written by a, a drunken former MI five agent or MI six or whatever, or MI whatever you want to call it agent? You know, based on drunken tittle tattle. And they 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 had a mini series with all the Hollywood's great and good. Uh, for 40 million. So, you know, they, they should pick this up because this is an actual story. This is about real deals done in real countries uh, with real people involving. And, and, and Hunter says we're cutting the big guy in for 10 percent. And his business partner said the big guy was Joe Biden. So they should pick it up. They probably won't. We're going to distribute it free on the Internet, free. Pro put it on YouTube. If YouTube take it down, we're going to then set up our own server and put it out for free so that people can see it for free. Yeah. Well, listen, I've learned so much from you, not just about uh, the content of your movies. I mean, Frack Nation really taught me about fracking and it set me on, you know, my own course of study on that subject. Um, you, you know, you've just done some amazing work that I'll, I'll always remember that film. And even how you crowdfund, you gave us at Rebel News the confidence that we could actually build a company through as long as we kept our promises to our donors that's the key and yeah. i want to say this i mean folks know you because we've had you on probably 10 times over the years you or your colleagues and the only way it works in the crowdfunding business and i can say this having built a company on it is if you keep your promises and you phelan have kept your promises whether it's the gosnell movie or frack nation or mind your own business, which was even before that. And so that's why I feel comfortable chipping in a hundred bucks because I know you're gonna do it and I know it's gonna be Hollywood quality. 
So I'm really excited. I'm always glad you, when you call me because I know that you've got something that our viewers are really going to like. So I'm going to go to mysonhunter.com. It's a hundred bucks, but it you know if enough people chip in a hundred bucks, we'll get there, fellow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, no. Listen, don't you know? If a thousand people give a hundred bucks, it, 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 it's it's an amazing. You know, we're filming in Serbia. Things are cheap there, but they're not that cheap. But a hundred thousand dollars, you know, two hundred thousand dollars goes a long way there. And you know, we, we need we need your help. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint, to get that crowdfunding total you know that too mm -hmm. you just gotta keep asking but you're right you gotta deliver it funny there's so many you know and let's be honest so many conservative groupings that, that, that get funding and then don't deliver um and they really let down the rest of us and uh we we i hope we over deliver i think we over deliver we always want to do we don't want to make a conservative movie we want to make a great movie yeah well i think you have and uh, we really like what you do and the fact that you have the courage to be a rebel, if I can use that word, in Hollywood, I know how the peer pressure is, the marginalization. They try to push you out. You refuse to leave. And, and you run circles around them for 1% the budget. The 40 million bucks they ran on that propaganda movie, the Comey uh, story. I mean, if you had 1% of that, the work you could do. Great to see you. MySonHunter.com. I look forward to, you say you're filming as soon as October. Very exciting. So yep. probably a spring 2022 release. Is that what you're looking Correct. at? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, uh, keep us posted. It's, it's, it's and I mean, have it wrapped in a bowl and then we push it out, you know, but, um, I, you know, that, yes, absolutely. Spring. Maybe we can even host a, a premiere in Canada when you're ready for that. We'll talk later, but we could probably fill some theaters. I think people I will be, be very excited. Maybe even have you as a filmmaker come up. I, I won't pressure I, I you now, but we can talk I, later. I, I, try and hold me back. Right on. There he is, fellow MacLear, producer, Robert Davi, the, the director, the film, MySonHunter.com. I'm chipping in 100 bucks. Fellum's the original crowdfunding creator. He taught us everything we know about how to build a company to contradict the establishment. I'm grateful to him for it. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.